Indiana Chevy dealers. Our buddy Mr. Fix It is back. What are you talking about today, Lou? How how is your lawn been looking? Have you been out there really working hard to get it looking the best it possibly can? Does he know who he's talking yeah. to? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I have a question. You know that beautiful dog that you have? What's yeah. that dog's name? Lola. So she's a girl dog. Yeah. Does she kill the grass? Do you have spots in the grass? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, th then you're really going to want to pay attention. I know you're not going to do anything, but other people who have a dog <laughs> like Lola right, thank you. will be paying attention. So all this rain, you know, has been fabulous for the lawn. I mean, I think that most of us look out there and like, oh my gosh, I've never seen it so green. It's fabulous, but there are some spots that you may notice for a myriad of reasons, like a Lola, that you need to take care of. And so I have a real simple solution for you to bring those back. So this okay. is a Lola spot yeah. that we're she might be doing her business and what i want you to do is get a few things and take a little bit of time to bring this back so you're going to get down on your hands and knees and you're going to use a little <laughs> <laughs> okay well some of you will do this and pull up all that dead grass you don't have to get it all but the whole idea is i want to loosen up that soil a little bit and uh give a spot for where we're going to put new seed okay. uh, on top of that and you want to get all of that stuff out of there as much as you can and just toss it in the in the garbage can and and pull it away now once you do that you get all of the debris out of there kind of go back again because you'll be surprised at how much you loosen up get the appropriate seed for that area now this particular area that i'm showing has a, a lot of sunlight uh, but there's a lot of uh seed out there that's good for shady areas as well uh -huh. and then you're just going to rip open the bag and then go ahead and spread that seed over that area and you want to overseed it a little bit so not just the spot robin i know you're really paying attention here but i want you to kind of spread around the spot yeah. as well almost like you're weaving it into the good grass that's there then you don't just want to leave the seed because the birds are going to eat the seed you're going to buy a, a thing of peat moss spangium peat moss which they come in different sizes these things are pretty heavy but um they're great for conditioning the soil and more importantly hiding the seed from the birds yeah. once you apply this over the top it's a soil conditioner it'll also help neutralize uh you know the in particular with dogs or any kind of brown spots you get a shot of nitrogen it's such a high shot of nitrogen that's what kills it spread it all out and then water this and then within a couple of weeks you're going to see that it's wow. gonna uh, look back and look beautiful again one other thing this is the weekend and next weekend for grub control i get this question a lot and because of all the rain and now we get the heat coming it's going to be a grub city okay. there's a bunch of different products out there this is a, a bear product and uh if you put that down this weekend or next weekend oh, sorry, you're going actually, to be able to control the grubs you've got a lot watching. i hope you took copious notes i did i think i could actually do that lou thank you very much the little yeah. demo is nice yeah isn't it? very nice thanks lou you have a good weekend you know he's got the uh show on saturdays on wgn and then saturday mornings wgn radio is the show been there for like 100 years yeah. thanks lou uh -huh.